On this video, we're going to discuss and learn how to use the trial maneuver. First, we need to identify the targets. We have one, two, three, four targets. In order for us to know what will be our action, we need to acquire each of the target manually. That by pressing manual acquire here then acquire the target then it will automatically goes on the target info on the right side now after the arpa shows the vector you may choose north up or head up true motion or relative motion so from here we're going to choose relative motion by pressing RM and relative vector now now in order for us to know our action to avoid collision as you can see on target 1 and 2 we're going to cross on our bow and the information is in here now the information of target number 1 and number two, which is crossing on our bow, is on the target menu. All the information bearing range, course, speed, and bearing, bearing of CPAs, including CPA and time of CPA. In order for us to know our action to avoid collision, you may use the trial maneuver by pressing trial on the right corner side of the ARPA. Then you can see we have the display track, rate of turn, turn radius, speed rate. Now this information is for our own ship. So rate of turn, we have chosen uh, 015 degrees per minute. For turning radius, we like to make it 0 0.6 nautical mile. So it will going to turn our ship for about 0 0.6 nautical per uh, nautical mile per minute. Now for the speed of rate, we have five knots per minute. So it will going to turn five knots per minute. Now in order for us to see, for example, on this target one and two, we want to alter our course to starboard starboard about 100 degrees so we need to change this change this to 100 one zero zero and enter so our action is to alter our course one zero zero and that is after six minutes now we need to change also the speed we need to verify what speed we have so the speed we have is 12 knots for the speed over the ground remember we need to put on this information the speed over ground just double click then press 12 knots then enter again after altering six minutes at course one zero zero we would like to alter our course go back to zero nine zero and that will be after six minutes again so double click here it will be therefore zero zero twelve minutes okay then enter so after 12 minutes it will go back to 090 now to do that or to verify the action we need to press display track so as you can see our ship will be in here so to put it back display track just press press display track we can also change the vector length into 6 minutes for example 
So all the vectors of the target will be changed to 6 minutes. And so we can also change the CPA limit and time CPA limit, but we will going to leave it as is. So again, in order for us to see our action to avoid collision, after peeling up this information, we like 15 degrees per minute. So let's make this six minutes then after six minutes we're going to alter one zero zero then after 12 minutes we we'll go back to zero nine zero again change this to our speed over ground which is one two knots now in order for us to see just play display track now after six minutes our ship will be at this position in order for you to see the headline you can press true vector so it will indicate the heading line so this indicate that after six minutes at present position we are here and then after six minutes we are here so the the action will be like this so again I will go into press display track and we'll go back to normal so this is the information of the target 1 and 2 which is crossing our bow now to analyze press display track so therefore after 6 minutes we are here so you can see the CPA and time of CPA will going to change. Again, I'll press it go back. So at normal condition, we are not yet altering. It's at 0 0.6, the most critical. If we alter at 100, this one, let's make a trial maneuver, display track. So it will be increased to 0 0.8. So it means if we're going to alter at 100, the CPA will increase to 0 0.8. If we want to go back after 6 minutes, so that will be 12 minutes, at 0 090, press number 2 maneuver. So it will indicate after 12 minutes. It will go back to 0, 090 0. and our CPA if you're going to check is 1.1 1 .1 and 1.5 so, so you can see all the targets are already cross our bow you may also check this one na target number four so for target number four if you click it it will show on the display target number four so you can see the CPA is 0 0.8 if we're going to follow this man trial maneuver trial maneuver means we need to try the maneuver if it is going to give us a good result okay